What's going on everybody? Back for another video, another vlog. We are not in my garage, we are at Omar's garage. Today, the plan is we are gonna wet sand and buff Christine, finally. It's been a few months since she's been painted. It's time to get her looking like glass, even though she is pretty smooth, but we're gonna get her looking like glass today and whatever else comes up. Just found out Omar's gonna get neighbors. Not exactly too thrilled about it, but whatever. See the Vento Melon just chilling in the garage. I'm gonna be doing, um, what would I call, car owner um, spotlight videos coming up here soon. My plan is to like, just the local people that have nice cars, I'm gonna just like, not really interview them, but like just go over the car and like review their cars. Uh, I think some of the local guys have really nice cars and I think it would be interesting to some of you guys if we just went a little bit more in depth on like how they got started and going over the cars a little bit. So I'm gonna be doing that uh, video series coming up here real soon. Obviously, I know you guys wanna see, I know you guys wanna see the, um, probably the Mark III squad cars in a little bit more in depth. So we're gonna do that as well and then some other cars that i've seen um but yeah today we're focusing on the green machine here gonna get her looking real glossy it's been a long time since she's been real smooth and i can't wait i think christian's gonna be coming over um either soon or later uh, i think jerome's coming over uh he's dropping off some goodies and yeah today's gonna be fun i'm just gonna film you know, a little bit of the day, not too much. And let's get it started. This car comes off blue, real blue, in on camera, but it's it's Turkish. Oof. Look at these babies. Car. I never used a block on that car whatsoever. And it might be the smoothest car. You're gonna see. Just can't finger sand. Don't put no pressure, no finger sanding, because if you do, that's when you get all those waves clear. You wonder why you're after somebody buffs it, it's all wavy. <laughs> yeah. Let's just leave it matte. Ah. <laughs> matte dragon green. So when you're wet sanding, if you're gonna take on this task by yourself, just make sure you take your time if you don't know what you're doing. It can be scary, but Omar taught me a few tricks and I did it the first time. You just wanna make sure that all those high ridges get sanded out and it's nice and flat. All the same textures which you're looking for. It's gonna look like this when you're done. 
Yeah. Looks f really flat, and it looked flat before. So imagine when people when it gets when it gets buffed, people are gonna be wet sanding, like the edges, like cause you want to get it out, but you're like I don't want to go too yeah, much. Yeah, you gotta. And then you see like black, you start freaking out. You sand the paint off. Let's be clear, Omar is highly skilled but he doesn't like doing this. <laughs> Omar, what got you into painting and semi body work, body work? Uh, well, honestly, I had a car that I wanted painted and we went to a body shop that my dad was getting his car uh, fixed at. And I asked the guy for, for a quote to paint the car. And he gave me the quote, and when I saw the price of the quote, I was like, holy. Mm. And uh, that kind of triggered it. I'm like, man. But I didn't understand the work, the materials, in. the cost that went into it. Now that I do it as a career, I understand why they charge the amount they do. I think a lot of people don't understand because... I don't think body shops will even give you that breakdown because someone's like, oh yeah, dude, I want to get my car painted. And then somebody tells you, eh, 2,500 bucks. They can split that number up because they know materials alone to paint this car was about 600, I gotta say. Well, the thing, the thing is you have different, you have different brands, different levels of paint quality within those brands. Yeah. There's, you know, the low end, the mid-grade and the good stuff and PPG, DuPont, uh, Sherwin-Williams, uh, uh, Diamond, I mean, all of them have a base, a mid-grade and a good, mm. like uh, the best, like when you go to AutoZone, whatever, whatever best, right. it's the same thing. And depending on how much you want to pay, depends on the person painting it, which level they go into. Mm. So someone tells you, yeah, I can do it. I can paint your car for, I can paint your car for $1,000. Keep in mind that if they're saying $1,000 to paint your car, they're going with the oh, most cost effective right. bottom of the line in whatever paint line they decided to use on your car. Which you, now, which you said before is not necessarily bad if you're doing an all over. I always tell people, if you're doing an all over, Cost effective, I don't want to use the word cheap because that's just cost effective paint is okay. Because right. you're not trying to match a color. You're going to paint the whole car. Especially if you're doing a solid color, solid white, solid red, solid blue, solid black. You can get a cheaper color mm -hmm. paint line. Don't get a cheap clear. clear. Spend your money on the clear because clear is going to protect your car from UV, protect your car from rock chips, make it shiny. Uh, you can sand it, you can, but I buff my car three times, three times wow. and it's still, so don't cheap out on the clear. You can go a little bit more cost effective on the actual color mm. if you're doing an all over. If you're yeah. doing panel painting and you got to blend, don't get cheap stuff because it's not going to match. True. And it's like, he explained it one time before. It was like, if let's say brand A uses green yeah. and a little bit of blue, maybe a little bit of purple to make a certain color, another brand's gonna use three or four more different shades of paint to make that same exact paint but code. It's gonna cost more. Oh yeah, it's gonna cost more. That, that's, well, why that's why it costs more. Right. The higher end stuff, they use more pigments to achieve the color right. than the lower paints. That's why they can give you this for $100 for a quart, and then the same quart, but in this line, Oof. for $300. Right. Because they use more pigments to make the color, so it's gonna be more, more, more in your face, vibrant. more brilliant, more, you know. Do your research, find out what's best, find out what's in your budget first. That's the thing. And don't skimp out, <laughs> don't skimp out. And when somebody tells you a good, if you know the person's a good painter and you've seen his work, invest that money because in the end, it's what, it's the best, it's probably the biggest 
modification or investment you're gonna do on your car is the paint. That's the first thing people see. It's usually the only thing people really stare at other than wheels is your paint. If your paint's trash and you have $8,000 wheels, who cares? Cause your car looks like trash. I wouldn't even walk up to it. That is a fact. He's smooth like glass, boys. Wait till this thing buffs out. Ooh. Omar just has random cool things like this. An ad from 1970. Look at that. stage which is the polish or the power glaze Bruh. look at it and this you actually work into the paint it's like it's you massage it in I don't know how to explain it you can put some pressure into this Some of the conversations that you have when the camera's off yeah. that you can't put on film, oh boy, there was some fire getting spit just a second ago, but that's between us. <laughs> like, hold on. Before you pull on, do like two donuts. <laughs> oh, Jerome made it. What's up, man? Jerome's a freaking lumberjack. Look at that, man. You're gonna grow it out long? No. Come on! No, I can't work. You just wear one of those nests like they do at Chipotle. <laughs> the hair nets on your chin. <laughs> All right, so we're one fender's down, it's getting ready. We're polishing up the second fender. What we're gonna do is do the hood also today. We're probably more than likely gonna pull the hood off the car so it's easier to reach the center of it, the center line, and makes it just a whole lot easier to wet sand and buff. So when he's done this, we'll pull the car out, take the hood off, and work on the hood. Woo! The driveway, the driveway is looking, is looking nice. Huh? Hopefully your hood goes back afterwards. 
Oh, it will. I got a. Uh, I got faith. I use. I used to take it off and put it on by myself. It's. I did one. I don't know what happened after last time. My, my time is like done. Jerome's car sitting pretty. These wheels are for sale, by the way. I'm not. Huh? No? I don't think they're sold yet. He's getting ready to. He wants to put the LMs back on. These wheels are for sale. Throw that, throw that, the hook water, also good. Here we go. Perfect. You like that smell? OG styles. I, I grew up drinking this water, man, all the time. It, smells, it has that distinct smell to it. That's why you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you do backflips. Yeah. It has that smell to it. <laughs> Chris, do it. I've never seen anybody like who's like, yeah, man, I love tap water. Uh, I drink tap water. I can't you do it. Drink I drink hose water. Okay. Well, I've drank hose water, yeah, in New York, that's where it's treated. It's different water. This here is like, it might as well be reclaimed. I drink water and freaking river, but that's Puerto Rico. Nah, you're fine. <laughs> Listen, every water, no matter where it's been on the face of the earth, has poop in it because fishes take crap in the water. So, whatever. <laughs> it makes Kristen go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you can't laugh or smile, don't forget. Uh, oh, you don't, you don't well, I'm not on camera, so it doesn't matter. Don't no, somebody asked me why I don't why smile. Like, smile or laugh? <laughs> you apply pressure, you get finger, finger marks. Why isn't he using a block? He should be using a block. <laughs> Old school way, bro. I would use a DA. Who got time to be wet sending the car by hand? The hood has been sanded flat. Look at that. This thing getting buffed out is gonna look oh, amazing. Omar is killing it. What the hell did I eat yesterday? Oh, yeah, Greg's taking over. Learning the ways. You doing this with this music? <laughs> we need to be at like some mountaintop somewhere. It looks good though. Tell him Omar, Jerome, turn that down for a second. When they tell him, uh, your vinyl wrap isn't gonna shine like that. It just ain't. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'll say it. It won't. All right. She is out of the garage. The hood looks absolutely gorgeous. It's smooth like glass. The fenders, oh man, Omar, once again, a huge, huge thank you to Omar. He killed it on this. If, listen, if you have any of his content information, hit him up on Instagram if you're local, Watermelon Express. He can he can take care of your car, man. We're good. We did the front end today, a little bit of the trunk, just to see if we were gonna be able to work out some of the, the defects. And it looks like we are going to be able to do that. So probably another weekend or two, two Saturdays next Saturday or maybe in the coming future the trunk and the quarters and then we'll do the roof and the doors and then she'll be ready to go shout out to Jerome for the new caps and the car is looking good it's looking really really nice Whew. she's getting she's getting there boys she's getting there
<laughs> Came to Mellow Mushroom, they have a pizza tree. So Omar called ahead and no. told him we had a big group. A and lot of ghost places. Look at the size of this table. Two king chairs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is this is it. This is huge table. <laughs> this is nuts. So I can get it all. Yo, when this block goes somewhere like that, Wow. Wow. I'm a least. So, finally made it back home after a long day of car things and hanging out with the fam, obviously. Once again, a huge, huge shout out to Omar for wet sanding and, you know, just taking real good care of Christine. I wish you guys could see it, like... It's literally like glass. Keep watching, browse the channel. If you like the content, shoot a, shoot a like to this video and watch some of the other videos. Subscribe, uh, if you can hit the notification bell. I try to upload once a week. Um, yeah, about once a week. We have some exciting, exciting content coming. A little bit more in depth into like some of the local guys' cars. And um, yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys next time in the garage. Peace.